Hi, this is Cool Kid LLZ. Um, yeah, I'll be showing you how to make a RuneScape private server. And what you do here is, um, first you need a source and client, which already I'm going to have that supplied to you in the description. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of uh, crap here. Yep. And um, first thing you need to do is get a no-ip.com. Um, first, you have to register, and then you get up to a page like a I don't know something like this. You gotta manage. You manage your hosts. Um, yeah, I have. I'm the owner of Zaxcape, so I will modify that. But another thing you have to do with no IP is uh, download it, which I will have that in the description as well. And um, for this, you need to go to your commands, command center. Uh, you hit run. You gotta put in CMD, which I'm guessing is command, but yeah. And then in this year, you put IP config slash all I like all because then it shows all your crap and then um my um you, you I use the DNS servers it's what I've always used and always will I'm guessing that's that that's right now your IP address that's what you need for uh, this you can either use a first or second one I did both I, I've used the second one before I don't know why but yeah, with this, mine's not right right now, so I need to put in 68.87, then point, uh, this one's mine, it's not yours, they're all different, 64 and 150. And yeah, I do know how to code servers, it's easy, fun, and gets boring after like a year. Um, so yeah. I hit update, and here's what happens. It's updated. Woo! Okay, so, um, you, then you need to, uh, port forward, which you go to 192.168.1.1. I don't know if it's different or not for other people, but it should be the number around, uh, your, it's your IP address, not, not DNS servers. I don't know. You put in... Okay, I'm guessing the default gateway, I don't know. But you yeah, put forward, it's pretty simple, you get, get to this page. Usually the password is admin admin or admin password or admin without a pick password. You'll see that login come up. You go to applications and gaming, then you get something like this. Uh, the port should be 43594. 243594. Uh, it's on both. Then you put in your IP address which is different if you have a different computer in your house and that has a different IP but it's still close but yeah put in your IP you can change this very easily it's not that hard you just uh, I'll teach you that in a different video but yeah save settings continue yeah that's the same as mine okay and then you're pretty much done <laughs> Uh, yeah, then you go to your source. This is the source, and, uh, now I'm gonna be using this source. And, yeah, this, you hit run server, or you can compile first. Compiling, this is my favorite compiler. Loved it so much. Tells you what's wrong. Well, every compiler does that, but this one's all nicely set up. Angels compiler. And you hit run server, and something like that should pop up this window and then you go to your your um, client you load that up hit run you don't even need to compile it pretty much already compiled unless you want to edit stuff like this color and stuff you know and it'll load up like this you can change the background picture easily by going to something like a I forget it's spirits there you go and then you look for the picture that's in the background which would be right there. It's called Death Moon. Yeah, don't change the uh, don't change the name. Just uh, change what's in it. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then you can log in. And yeah. 
so you should I'm logging in uh, 0 .0 0.0.0.0 that's a uh, host and then if you uh, want to change that if you don't want well for it to change you need to get uh, people um what would that be that would be in client that'd be down here you go to the client you search control F 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 press enter here it is you change that to Zach or whatever your host I mean where no IP was whatever uh, this name was that's what you put in mine zackscape dot no IP dot biz so I'll put that one in oh crap where to go <laughs> I lost it should be Wait, control Z. There it is. Um, and then you save it and compile. And you can change the uh, color that people see. I should probably log out of this. Yep. Then. forget what you just saw that was just a command central thing now I'm gonna be logging off my IP I mean logging on my IP my bad but yeah this is just the easy way and then my password is classified if it doesn't work right away then you sh probably should be changing stuff now that could be a problem with my uh, my no IP or my checklist right here. That should be checked, and he should have a smiley face on. I guess that's smiley enough. Nope, he needs a better smiley face. So that means I did something wrong with my no IP, which means you need to modify this to a different port. Which mine's in the command central that I just closed. That's awesome. So it looks like I need to change uh, 68.87. Whoa, that's completely wrong. There we go. Sorry if you can't really see it. I have the thing all mixed up. Oh my god. Uh, 7 point oh, and update there we go and that is how you do it oh. <laughs> yeah this is my server it's pretty nice, well done. I have a uh, it's 200 stalls, that, and this one gives you quite a lot of uh, money pretty fast. But you need 200 thieving, which takes like I don't know five days if you're doing it. Nah, like four to five days. I I made another account. Uh, teleports are on here. You got a train in this like my training area that I made. I made the chest because it looks cool there. I don't know. You need some ornaments, you know? Um, the only thing you can't do in my server is change the drops. I really do not know how to do that. Even the person who made this, made this, uh, coded this, he does not know how the drops work. I guess you need to ask Jaden. <laughs> so, yeah, this is my server. Yep. Okay. And here we go. That's it. And yeah, go swords to uh, double hit. And this is really cool. Alright, uh, see ya.